today. It's the end of the day here for us. Whitney is wrapping up some beams. Yes. We've got a pros and cons list to do. Yes. Um, I actually think this was a question that somebody asked for us from yeah. us. Yeah. Is it Steve? Steve. It was Steve. Pros and cons. Yes. A pervious concrete. A pervious concrete. Oof. Sorry, I know. Per pros and cons of pervious concrete. Pervious concrete is a uh, concrete with a singular gradation of aggregate, normally three eighths inch to a half inch diameter. Uh, we're, we're minimal yeah. paste content. Minimal paste, just enough to, to make the rocks stick together. And a 15 to 25 percent void content so that we allow water to pass through right. the mix. And we've done videos on it that we could put in the link below. Steve appreciated the videos because we did two. I did a crappy mix and then I did a better mix. Right. Um, but his question was, what are the pros and cons? So, let's start out with the cons. It's really crappy to consolidate. Horrible. It's just, it's tough to work with because you have minimal, you know, that pace gives you your flow, your right. workability. Right. So it's, it's definitely tough to work with. And it's definitely tough to make or produce it. Right. Um, making pervious concrete, it, it takes a very sensitive hand, especially in a large scale 40,000 pound, 50,000 pound plus mix. Right. It's you need just enough pace to hold it together and make it durable but not so much that it's not going to allow water to flow through. So it's, it's very finicky. And there's a very, sh there's a very specific sheen yeah. that you notice once it makes that transition, but then if you don't recognize when to stop, that right. sheen could be... Too much. Too much. So that's one of the cons. The other thing is it, it, it does allow water, and I'm very fidgety. You're good. That's okay. Well, you're, you're doing things. I know. Like, I'm sorry. I feel like I should do something, so I feel like I'm being productive. You are. I love by it. By playing with the tape roll. Yes. And, you know, popping my collar every so often. I know. I like to play with your hair. Play with my hair, switching my stance. I love but it. you're so productive, and I'm Thank you. It's okay. like doing anything over here. You're so good. You're doing a video. That's um, productive. One of the other problems with colloidal silk is if you have water uh, passing through, which is great, but Normally, there's other things that go with that water. Right. Dirt, soil, sand, rock, cement, chloride. So got junk getting leaves, into plastics. the concrete. And unless you have a way to blow that stuff out or pressurize it out. It's getting stuck in there. And it's going to have an impact on the efficiency of the flow rate. Oh, sure. Totally. Um, and then if it's chlorides. It's eating it up. It's so, just not good. Right, so not much holding it together. Uh, again, I, you know, we're not trying to rain on parade, but I would just say... Just trying to have an honest conversation about pros and cons. So I would say those are the two biggest cons. Right. Outside of that, great material. Right. What are the pros? It allows water to go through. A lot, it, there's so many, and they're so quick, and they're so, you don't have to apologize for them like you do with the cons. Water flow, right. they use up spa uh, a, a space without you know flooding. That that's a byproduct of water right. flow. Um, they can be used uh, and maintained for pavements. They can be used for aesthetics, like you can have uh, grass and things coming up through them, which is just lovely. Uh, and then it, it, it is a less expensive. I mean, oh totally, you fifteen know, to twenty five percent of the most expensive piece of your well, the solid portion, the right. air is the free portion. Right. So I mean, you, fifteen to twenty five percent of your mix is air. Mm -hmm. So it's a less expensive. It's sure value added performance. Um, yeah, it, it's easy to work with on a larger scale. Right. Right, because you do need a roller, but you're not consolidating and vibrating it, you're using sure. more of a roller effect. Sure. Um, yeah, I, I guess those are the... Those are the pros. Those are the pros. Very I mean, green product, I would say. I, would, I, I love pervious concrete. Uh, we've actually played with pervious concrete using colloidal silica. We should publish that. Agreed. And we should do a talk about that, too. Um, and the only thing that Whitney didn't like about it was finishing it or, or consolidating the Yeah, and yeah, you did the finishing, but yeah, it's just, it is, it is tough to work with. So I think that's, that is definitely a, uh, what I want to do up. next time is make up slabs mm -hmm. and then just core out the same. Oh, Cause sure. that, that's the best way of doing it. You get a real, you know, snapshot in time. Of how it's, how right. it's doing and all that. Right. So thanks for joining us. We appreciate your time. And we, we hope you got something out of this. Please, please let us know if you have questions 
we don't mind throwing another video sure. because we are doing this for you and we want to help you bring new and emerging technologies to your next job site. Well, and just help you understand what's out there. Oh, yeah. And there's so help many. educate. So on many. Are. Yeah. So many. Glow in the dark. Super cool. I mean, lightweight, floating concrete, blast absorbing. Yes. Concrete that has grass coming out of it. Residential concrete. Right. So, residential. residential. High performance. High performance. Ultra SCC. high performance. Shotcrete. Gunite. Excuse me. Geopolymer. Ooh. Ooh. I got nothing. I, I just want to let you win one. I, got I appreciate 15, that. 15, 20 more. Bro. Oh, you're... Well, now you said it, so I didn't win. Yeah, you won. Okay, I'll take it. I'd, I'd sacrifice for you. I, I appreciate I see that. Give me a kiss, though. That I need the win today? No. You get the win today. I am. Thank you. Sorry, my hands are all... Thanks for joining us. Go concrete! Beat asphalt!